In the full glare of the media spotlight, President Obama of the United States and President Medvedev of Russia put their signatures to a new nuclear arms reduction treaty. The White House hoped this moment would mark an end to eight years of tension. And always watching was the man responsible for that tension, the former and future Russian president, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. For Putin and the SVR, Russia's successor to the KGB, the Cold War wasn't over. And in April 2010, even as Obama and Medvedev were speaking of a new era in East-West relations, the FBI had been passed information of a sinister Russian plot, which would shock America to its core. The FBI's focus was on a young and seemingly entirely ordinary American couple. Cynthia and Richard Murphy of Montclair, New Jersey. Cynthia Murphy was the family's breadwinner, working in finance in upstate New York. Richard Murphy was a stay-at-home dad, looking after their two young daughters. But the Murphy's wholesome, all-American image was an elaborate facade. The Murphys from New Jersey were really Vladimir and Lydia Guriev, trained members of Russian's Foreign Intelligence Service. They were illegals, deep cover agents who had assumed false identities to enter the United States. The Guriev's goal was to pass themselves off as true American patriots, to embed themselves completely in US society. After years of training, Vladimir and Lydia Guriev were dispatched to the US as Richard and Cynthia Murphy. In the mid-1990s, they befriended their New Jersey neighbors, started a family, and embarked on a life of deception. Their cover was so deep, they should have been impossible to detect. In early 2000, the Russian illegals were betrayed to the CIA by an agent believed to be high up in Directorate S. Although his name was not disclosed at the time, the CIA's source was later revealed to be Colonel Alexander Poteyev. But what Poteyev revealed about the Russian illegals program sent shockwaves through the agency because the Murphys of Montclair, New Jersey, 